Hi, I'm Reed Galvin, the executive sous chef of the Perry Hotel in Petoskey, and today I am preparing the Argentine gaucho salad. What I have here is a steak that we use for our Argentine gaucho salad. It is called a hanger steak. What a hanger steak is, is it hangs actually from the tenderloin of the steer, and it is close to the kidney, so it's very rich as far as color. And this is the way you'd get it from the butcher, and what I have done is I have trimmed it with all the silver skin and fat off of it to have it look sort of like this, and that was what we're going to marinate today. And the way to make marinade is just adding some olive oil to your pan. And then what we have here is some paprika, cayenne pepper, Cajun seasoning. You can buy this in any grocery store now. There's so many versions of it. This is a shallot. A shallot is in the garlic family. That's a finely chopped shallot some coarse ground pepper, a little kosher salt. I always like to use kosher salt. It just adds extra flavor. And then one of the tricks of the trade is a little bit of crushed garlic. Give it a quick whisk. Put your hanger steak in the marinade, cover it, and refrigerate it for 24 hours. Here we have our marinated hanger steak now, and this is what it would look like after it's char grilled or seared in a pan, and you cook it to your liking, from medium rare to well, whichever you'd like. And while you're char grilling or pan searing your hanger steak that's already been marinated, you would have a grilled portobello, a little bit of sautéed onions, and why that is all being prepared, you can prepare your dressing, and your dressing is very simple. It consists of four ingredients, extra virgin olive oil, balsamic vinegar, roasted garlic, and a little kosher salt, and some coarse black pepper. And just whisk that together. Now that we've prepared the dressing, you want to dress the salad. You don't want to drown the salad, you just want to lightly coat the lettuce. We want to keep it nice and fresh. So just a little bit of dressing, and a quick toss. And after we toss the salad, we will assemble the salad. Well, it's time to assemble the salad. Start out with a little bit of roasted garlic on the side, some grape tomatoes, and then we have our gaucho steak that has been char grilled. Then we have some of the grilled portobello mushroom, the sauteed red onion, and then to finish it off with a little bit of the carrot. And this is a fried potato. And these are both done on a little turning slicer. And here we have the Argentine gaucho salad from the noggin room, where everything is flavorful, fresh, fast, and fun. Today's recipe is available online at 9and10news.com.